Right, hello. Welcome, everybody. Once again, we are preparing to bedoodle the paper with inky little lines all squished together in fun, different little ways. Once again. But before that, I want to get into my plate situation. Also, briefly, my silverware. Um, first of all, my silverware is actually gold. I, fi I found out while shopping for silverware that I could get gold silverware for only one dollar more per utensil. So I went that route, especially since I'm not buying very many silverwares. What's the right word for this? Um, is it just still called silverware, even if it's gold? It's obviously just gold colored, maybe some sort of burnished bronze or I'm no metallurgist, but I have two forks. I have two spoons and two Knives. What's the proper term for these knives? Butter knives? Dinner knives? I only have the forks I have are not the salad forks. What's it called if it's not a salad fork? Anyways, I also have only two plates and then two smaller plates and one bowl, which my sister made and gifted to me. That bowl I now regret to announce, however, is it's got hairline fractures in it, so its days may be numbered. So, I don't know, Amy, if you're out there anywhere, prepare another bowl, maybe? I use it to eat my cereal, my honey nut Cheerios, sometimes my honey bunches of oats, sometimes my life cereal. And I'm afraid I might start seeing little, little droplets of milk seeping through the cracks. Anyways, what I wanted to say is, I only have two plates. Well, actually four plates, but two plates practically because half of the plates are smaller than the other plates. But having a small amount of dishes forces me to keep short accounts with the dishes. It's really impossible for me to have dirty dishes pile up in the sink because I don't have any amount of dishes that could pile up, right? And I think that's something that would happen to me uh, if it could. But I only, I only have a couple plates, so it's just one or two plates high. And then if I want to use them again, I'm like, huh, well, I'm washing one, might as well wash both of them. And then all the dishes are suddenly clean again until, well, I'm using one to put a sandwich on. But I also have this weird bad habit where I, I, I just, the, sometimes the plate is only dirty in the sense that a couple of pieces of bread touched it because I made a sandwich on the plate and then I just take it back over to the kitchen counter and then I kind of leave it there until the next night where I make another sandwich and I just use it again and again and again. The only thing I'm worried about is this. Like, I look, I'm not, I'm not worried about putting a piece of bread on a plate that had a piece of bread on it the night before without washing it first, but I think maybe I should wash it every night just so that, um, like, I'm worried, look, I'm worried about cockroaches. I'm worried about them. They worry me. They plague my thoughts day and night. And whatever's in between day and night, oh, they're there wriggling through my brain and my daydreams and my night dreams. And every time I turn on a light in a room, I think I'm going to see one there wriggled up between the cracks somewhere up on the ceiling or the floor. And every little speck of, of like lint or mode of dust I see, I think it's a bug somewhere. They're really in my psyche, deep in the crevices. But I'm saying, should I? I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should wash the dishes, even if it's only a, 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 only if there's only like a crumb on a plate, right? So that the the cockroaches don't get into the habit of thinking, hey, this is a place I can go. There's a plate there, and I know there's always going to be a couple of crumbs on it. It's not a slimy, sugary, greasy plate. It's just got a crumb on it, but. Better safe than sorry, right? I'm good at vacuuming and stuff, so I don't get cockroaches. I wipe things down a lot, but... I guess wiping things is down down is okay, because... I mean, cockroaches, they like, they like slimy things, right? I mean, damp things. If I wipe it down, it's left a little bit damp, but then that evaporates quick, right? Anyways, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm talking about cockroaches too much. It's not, um, it's not relaxing. I'm here to be relaxed. Watch the lines appear on the paper. This is just a classic, this drawing is just a classic doodle. Don't go into it with any preconcerning, I had notions. 
I went into it with one plan and came out with it, came out of it with a totally different thing. And that's okay. That's great. You just want to wriggle up something in your brain that gives you something enough to start with and be totally prepared to let go of it at any time so that you don't get stressed out when whatever you're drawing uh, isn't turning out um, anything like what you had in your brain to start out with, right? I, you just got to learn to let go and you know go with the flow of the doodle. I don't really know what's leading the way in these doodles. If it's the paper, the pen, something deep in my subconscious, but it's fun. I enjoy it. Like it really, it really all, it, it's, it's more than a doodle, but really just a doodle. Mentally. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's it. Go out, draw something. You can do it. You don't have to have an idea to start. Maybe you'll get an idea after you start. I believe in you. All right. Goodbye, everybody. You're cool. You're really cool. <laughs> can't believe you're watching my, you're watching my video? <laughs> Ooh.